Greetings, greetings, beautiful butterflies in transformation. Are you guys getting your wings yet? How is everybody doing? Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. What is going on? Well, we are going to, for Wisdom Wednesday today, what happened to it? Yes, we are going to search for what the message is for our beautiful and handsome Patreon Collective. Let's take a look and let's see what comes up as the wisdom that we need for today as Wednesday. I hope you all are doing well out there. Let me just feel in for that energy. See what we're sharing. We have August the 12th and the 11th. The 11th is about taking responsibility for your health. The 12th is use your spiritual creative power. So let's take a look at that. We know when we hear that kind of message, we're talking about not being a victim. We're talking about self-empowerment. And we're talking about doing those things that you have to do to create the life that you want for yourself. So let's apply ourselves to this. In the old paradigm, we respond to the external world and this is what dictates our being and creates our reality. In this way, our emotions and experiences are always subject to something outside of ourselves. We are at the whims of what happens outside of us. When we want something, we work hard physically for it and can labor for long periods of time needlessly. Meaning it's not necessarily needlessly, but what it is, is you're not utilizing the creative vibrational energy that you have within your vessel to create. You're doing what it is you're doing to create change in your life at a much lower concrete level. You're not utilizing other elements of your being in order to do that. We're working from form or the material reality to create form. We aren't harnessing our spiritual power or tapping into our spiritual guidance. When we manifest consciously, we go within and create a fertile landscape in order to give birth to the external reality. So in this case, we're not externalizing our power, we're going within and we gotta create the fertile landscape within which means as within as without. So if you are not feeling good in here, if you're not feeling successful, if you're not feeling as though you've already achieved that thing, if you're not aligning with it, if you're not becoming it in each and every moment, it's not going to reflect in your outside world or it's going to be a struggle because you have a lot of pushback. We begin to understand that we as energy are connected beyond time and space to all other energies and we leverage this understanding. We use our energy and consciousness to bring things into existence. We align with the flow of the universe instead of working against it. Why work against it? Listen to what's happening in your life around you. Go with the flow. Don't do things to create unnecessary stress. As a divine feminine, if you happen to be one listening, uh, don't mental give yourself mental anguish and agonize over something when the time comes and it's in front of you and it's on your plate you'll know what to do because you're going to drop into your heart you're going to drop into your womb space you're going to listen to your body's intelligence you're going to feel for that intelligence that is around you that's going to help you move forward and make whatever the decision is that you have to make so don't overthink and don't over rationalize okay Things come to us more easily when we use our energy and consciousness to bring things into existence. We align with the flow of the universe instead of working against it. We feel more flow in our lives. We give up the need to force things into being and instead we become witnesses to the more effortless way that things come into our lives. You are a creator, okay? You're a co-creator, but nonetheless, you're still a creator. Work from your spiritual power to create. Get clear on what it is you want. Send out intention into the universe. Fuel it with emotion. Visualize it. Truly believe it's on its way. That is the key right there above and beyond everything else because in order to truly believe it's on its way, the intention has to already have happened. You have likely have seen it already and definitely the emotional piece is already there. 
live the experience of that thing. Get to the point to where you see it, you feel it, and you're in the energy of it. It has no choice but to, but to begin to respond. Living in the energy of it as if it has already happened instead of yearning and, and feeling as though you don't have it and, and uh, almost um, being in a place of need and clinginess and struggle. Those are the things you want to remove from you, all right? We are just beginning to brush the surface of what's powerful in our human evolution. And I can promise you, before it's all said and done, those people who are going to rise to the top are going to be the people who've learned how to live in the flow of life. Trusting that everything has already been written and then you're just catching up with it. You're in this slow third dimensional thing that's doing like this. It's taking forever to reveal the total movie. You're seeing it one frame at a time. And so you're feeling like you're missing something and you're feeling anxiety without realizing that you're just catching up and watching the downloads of the files that are already a part of the zip. Of the zip. So in saying that, be in the flow as much as you can because that's where your spiritual power is. When you live in the flow, you trust that everything that you need is going to come to you as you need it. And you simply don't worry. And to the extent that you do feel anxiousness and you do worry, you try your best to mitigate that. And you try your best to, you know, shake that stuff off and not allow it to put you in a place where you can't relax and you start to tense up. And when you can't relax and you tense up, the energy cannot flow. Okay? And waiting patiently as things unfold in your favor. In your favor, remember, is always the way it's supposed to be. However it unfolds, it's going to unfold in your favor. So your job is to just trust the process. So here's a question for you. Where in your life are you still trying to create with the tools of an old paradigm? Lord, this seems like this message might be for me as well. It's got to be. I'm a part of the Patreon community, right? Where in your life are you still trying to create with the tools of an old paradigm? Where are you still recycling old stuff that's not helping you get anywhere? Okay? Very, very interesting. And taking responsibility for your health, considering the fact that I fasted two and a half days last week. I haven't eaten anything for the last six days because I'm doing this diet thing, which does not require food, but I am not hungry. I'm going to let y'all know how that goes, because if it goes well, you might be interested. I'm using myself as a guinea pig. So I'm fasting. So both of these, those, those of you who are considering uh, health things, if you got health stuff on the table, this may likely be applying to you at this time. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. I hope that you are peaceful. I hope that you are productive. And I already know that you are prosperous. Do you know that you are prosperous? You're with Tunisia Ali of Butterfly Transformations, helping you to gain clarity, uplevel your mindset, heal and clear energetic blockages and manifest the glory of God that is within you. Sign up for patreon.com slash Tanisha Ali if you want to take the spiritual sojourn with me and my beautiful butterfly family. You can find us on there, all kinds of content. Join at any time. We're getting ready to start a high vibrational challenge and a divine feminine challenge. Um, we're going into that towards the end of the month, which is what we're coming up on now. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment on this video let me know what it is you're doing in your life to leverage your spiritual power <laughs>